Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs or you can get a personal reading. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, let's see. What is the major theme here for Aquarius mid-February? All right, we have thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity. All right, so somebody is definitely thinking a lot about you, having you on their mind. Let's see. Let's see what this is about for Aquarius. Rising and Venus signs. The other air signs have really positive energy this time around, so I'm curious to see what is going on with you guys. Oh, okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles that just popped out, so I will put it up there. Like you're thinking about something new or something new is starting or you're entering like just a new phase or a new way of thinking possibly when it comes to what you want to do when it comes to the physical world or your physical environment may or may not be related to a person so let's see for your energy we have temperance the Hermit, and the Fool. Okay, wow, three major Arcana cards here. Okay, so I feel like you may have um, come out or you may just now be coming out of a difficult time period um, or a difficult phase or a difficult situation because it feels like you are very much so in the process of healing, going within, finding yourself, doing a lot of inner work, whether you realize it or not, I feel like sometimes with the Hermit, it can just be um, the way you're just going about things, the way you are thinking about things, the way you are just keeping yourself in this state of balance or center, like centering yourself, that can actually really move you forward and give you a lot of insights about yourself, even if you didn't like mean to do that. <laughs> If you can get what I'm saying, like a difficult situation can sometimes, and then trying to balance from that can lead to that automatically. And I feel like coming out of that, you're ready to jump into something new. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new relationship, but just a new way of being. And it could even be within a specific relationship or towards, towards a specific person. We'll see when we clarify. We'll get more details. For your person, we have the world. The Ten of Wands and Death. All right, if that's not an ending, I don't know what is. <laughs> like, seriously, though, wow. There is, and this doesn't necessarily mean an ending with you, although it could be. Um, I don't think so, because this person is thinking a lot about you. Unless you, unless you ended it with them, which I'm not seeing that yet. There's definitely some big conclusion here in their life, a major, major cycle closing out and a major transformation taking place of something that is not very easy to deal with. It's still something that is weighing heavy on them. It's still something that is very difficult. I feel like they're actually in the process of this ending. I don't feel like it has already ended. It's in the process of ending or just having begun to end. So it could be anything in their lives that was um, just weighing heavy on them, whatever was a burden. Let's see, let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Let's see the final message is the King of Pentacles. Okay. So there is some action here. It might be a little bit inconsistent um, coming up in the near future because I feel like there's still a struggle. So I'm mostly associating this with your person as the way it's coming through. But there is love here. There is like this beautiful, happy ending with the Ten of Cups 
And then the message is the King of Cups, which I feel could be your person, or it could even be you, just really staying grounded, really um, making things happen for your own self, or this person really manifesting in the 3D. Let's see. All right, let's clarify, let's clarify temperance for your energy. And we have the two of pentacles, yeah. So this was something that was not easy for you to do. I feel like you've struggled a bit trying to find that balance within yourself, trying to deal with possibly a lot of emotions, a lot of extreme emotions, um, like maybe one emotion pulling you one way, another emotion pulling you the other way, until you were able to find that balance. I feel like, I feel like you've already been doing that. But definitely, I feel like you have, it's like you just came out of a storm or you just like came home from a storm. It's It almost gives me that kind of a vibe. Let's see the hermit. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this was definitely a long, slow process. All right, um, you getting to this point of being able to really tap into your own self and go inward. It could even be that you have withdrawn from from this person, all right, with this hermit energy. Um, but I feel like there was, you had good reason to do so with that Knight of Pentacles. It was like, you know, that was like your plan that you need to put yourself first or that there was just something about it. Um, Cause I don't want to say that it was a plan that was manipulative. Cause I just don't get that at all with the hermit and temperance. It was a plan and it was strategically done for your highest good here. Maybe even for this person's highest good as well. Whatever the case though, you've really been working on yourself. So good for you, Aquarius. Let's see the fool. All right, wow. So three flew out and all three are major arcana, which is crazy because out of, what is that, seven, eight, nine, nine cards in total up here, six of them are major arcana. That is crazy. All right, so major, major stuff. I feel like you have really transformed yourself. We have death, the wheel of fortune, and strength. You, wow, you are really, really looking forward to something new here in your life. Um, I do feel like you are you've needed a lot of strength to get to the point where you are now, a lot of courage. And I feel like you still you still need it. You're you're still trying to find that within you in order to move forward because you're trying also to close out something here with, with the death card. You're you're transforming. You want to turn the wheel in a new direction is what I'm getting here. So yeah, I pretty much feel like you may have somehow walked away from this person in one way or another or at least withdrawn or set some kind of a boundary or set some kind of maybe even an ultimatum not in the bad way but just like you know well if this can't work you know in this way then i just i can't do this and i feel like that was in alignment okay with your own higher self it wasn't th i don't get anything that was threatening so it's not that type of an ultimatum. It's just, you know, if things can't be balanced within this connection in some way, then, you know, you you have to turn that wheel. All right, let's see for your person. Let's see the world. The Ace of Pentacles again. Gosh, okay, yeah, they're thinking about something new with you then, all right, because we have the Ace of Pentacles up here together with thinking of you. They are thinking about, they're thinking a lot about a new beginning with you and how this could manifest in the 3D. And because of that, something needs to, to close out. I feel like whatever it was in their lives or in their behavior or in their attitude or in their patterns that was blocking this, this movement forward with you, um, they're trying to change that. They're trying to put an end to that. Let's see the Ten of Wands. 
for some of them it could definitely be a commitment of some sort, yet yeah, justice. Yeah, this could even be divorce if this is somebody who is married, for example. All right, just an example, it could be anything, but with justice being here, this is, this person is making a decision. This person is making a decision that is in alignment also with their own higher selves, all right, with justice being here. Wanting to make things right, wanting to fix things, wanting things to be fair. Wanting to find that balance within within their own life. It's hard, all right, with that ten of wands. It's something that is going to be a difficult process. And again, I, I don't feel like this has happened yet. I feel like it is in the works. Let's clarify death. Ooh. All right, we have the tower and the six of cups. I'm telling you, this person is, is going through a very difficult time. They're on the right path here. They're closing something out. Um, they're making a huge decision here. It's releasing a burden off of their back, but that doesn't make it any easier. All right, because here with death, we have the tower. Something is really coming down. There's something that is just really shaking them up and creating a huge change. Like, I mean, this, I don't know if this change could get any bigger. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't seen judgment here for them, but yeah, with the tower clarifying death, something is really, really ending here. And I feel like with your energy being, you know, you having pulled away from them, there's a lot of nostalgia here. There's a lot of thinking about the past with you. And it could also be that, you know, this, this distance from you is causing this tower, causing them to have like a dark night of the soul. For some of them, they could feel like this is just done with you. Um, from your end, not because they want it to be done. I see them not wanting it to be done. I see them wanting to have this new beginning with you, closing out something else in order to have a new beginning with you, making a difficult decision, feeling like the world right now is just crumbling beneath their feet. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see this Knight of Wands. All right, we have the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so. There's action here. There's definitely action. This could even be physically moving to a new location for some of them, um, especially with two knights here. I mean, this is action. And I feel like there is a lot of drive and a lot of passion behind this action. I, I do get, though, that there might be still a little bit of back and forth. Like, it might still be a little bit shaky. But overall, this person um, is determined to take some kind of an action here. And I feel like like this action is going to be related to this ending of whatever that is. Let's see the two of pentacles because there's still going to be a little bit of, as I said, a little bit of difficulty. The ten of cups again, right next to the ten of cups. It's like It's like they're they're struggling, right? It's because it's difficult, but they are managing it. And they're managing it because this Ten of Cups is very appealing to them. Um, I feel like they're thinking about their happiness and what it is that really fulfills them. And that is their drive. That is what is pushing them forward. That is what is pushing them to take action. It's this Ten of Cups that makes all of this manageable. I don't know how you're going to feel about it though because I see you really having taken a new direction there for yourself. Let's see, Ten of Cups. Clarified by the Nine of Cups. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing love here. 
I'm seeing love and a wish fulfillment. And I see it, you know, in the in the near future here. I mean, time is relevant, but but it's showing up here. Let's clarify that King of Pentacles for the message for you. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is like the air signs this time around. I don't know what is going on with you guys. I, I wish I was an air sign this month. Um, King of Swords and the Four of Wands, clarifying the King of Pentacles. Wow. It's like we have all the kings on the table except for the King of Cups, but who needs a King of Cups when you got the Ten of Cups twice? And then also the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm just getting here. This person that you are dealing with is, is very, very determined. Very determined. Um, I feel like they are stepping into this energy of being very mature. Knowing what they want, going after it, and bringing it into reality. Being very stable. Wanting a commitment. Wanting something very um, stable. And strong. Wow, Aquarius. That's all I'm going to say. If you guys have been um, watching my videos for a while, you know <laughs> I don't sugarcoat. This is just what I'm getting here. So I ho really hope this resonates with like everybody who watches this. <clears throat> and if it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. And let's get your final oracle message. Right? And we have building blocks. Yes, this is reminding me kind of like the, the four of wands. Um, <clears throat> that things are heading in that direction of it coming together into something that is very stable, very secure, um, long term, and just beautiful. All right. I mean, this card, if you were to take it literally, it can, it can represent marriage. Right. So I feel like right now what's happening with what you're doing, focusing on yourself, this person closing out a cycle, it's like you're both building the blocks. You're both building the blocks for this beautiful, like, wow, <laughs> like fairy tale, happy ending. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.